Mr. Chairman, Madam Executive Secretary, distinguished delegates. It is with great pleasure that I have the opportunity to inform you about the current work, the current developments on the implementation of a circular economy strategy in Austria, which is one of the main priorities in the work program of the Austrian government. As we are all aware, the urgency for implementing new forms of economy arises from our understanding and recognition that the biophysical resources of our planet are limited, but our consumption of natural resources is growing rapidly. Therefore, a linear economy, take, make, dispose, is not acceptable anymore. We urgently need to make our economy circular and we have to ensure a transition towards a fossil-free and resource-efficient economy as soon as possible. On these grounds, the transposition of global goals, such as the UN Sustainable Development Goals or the European Union's Green Deal, into national strategies and policies is indispensable. The concept of circular economy is highly relevant for the attainment of many of the Sustainable Development Goals. Hence, one main objective of the Austrian government is the development of a national strategy on circular economy. Considerations about the needs of the society versus the ecological limitations of our planet are triggers for our circular economy strategy. These needs have to be satisfied by services and products based on optimized use of resources, such as material, energy, digital, monetary and others. Examples for such services are housing, heating, light, mobility, nutrition, health, security of supply and education. The Austrian strategy on circular economy will demonstrate which instruments, approaches and methods can meet these objectives most efficiently. The work on the development of an Austrian strategy on circular economy started in September last year. From November till mid 2021, comments and opinions from a variety of stakeholders are being collected, for example, through various thematic working groups and expert interviews. A first draft of the Austrian strategy on circular economy will become available in April this year. Before finalization, the draft strategy will undergo a thorough public review and the final version should be delivered to the government end of this year. One of the first results in this process is the establishment of a research and technical innovation program on circular economy, which I have inaugurated last month and which has a funding volume of 10 million euro per year. Austria highly appreciates the work of UNECE with regard to promoting circular economy in the ECE region. We are very pleased that this important topic guides the 69th session of the Commission and we look forward to update you on further results in the not too far future. I would also like to take this opportunity to express our deep appreciation for all the important work done in the framework of UNECE. Austria attaches great importance to economic integration and cooperation at the regional level through important norms, standards and conventions set out at the UNECE to promote sustainable development and economic prosperity in our region and beyond. Austria is proud to be part of this work and as such the Government of Austria presents its candidature for chairmanship of the Commission with the aim of further supporting, promoting and advancing the objectives of UNECE and its member states. We would highly appreciate the valuable support of the ECE membership to the Austrian candidature. Thank you very much.